Did that guy just say revenge is a dish best served cold? The Revengers. Everyone else called them the Revengers. Did that guy just say revenge is a dish best served cold? The Revengers. Everyone else called them the Revengers. What it do, Revenger crew? What's crackulating with you, man? You should know what time it is if you've clicked on our beautiful faces, man. We are the ESMR Revengers. I am your man, Bo. You can catch me on Instagram at Merrill Productions. Also catch me on Twitter at Merrill Product One. I am joined by our substitute uh, reactor today. I guess that was, <laughs> I, I, knew I, was going, I didn't know I was going with that. Tell me who you are, sir. How's it going? I'm Mondo. You can find me at Mondoville on Instagram. That's spelled M-A-N-D-O-V-I-L-L. Um, also on Snapchat. Only two platforms I have. So. That's good. That's good. You got ways for people to find you. That's awesome. So uh, we're doing something uh, really kind of special uh, in, in this particular reaction. And uh, so I, I'm applauding you, first of all, because you kind of jumping into something that you don't know a lot about right now. And I didn't know a lot about it till recently. Uh, and that's Egyptian rap. Yeah, and so uh, I was giving you just a couple of uh, anecdotes about how uh, aggressive you guys are, the Egyptian fans. I mean, they they ride, man, like they ride for their artists. And so, uh, a lot of times, uh, I'll post a reaction from uh, something totally different, like Ariana Grande, and I'll get uh, uh, Egyptian fan like, "Yo, when is this coming?" And I'm like, <laughs> "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Dog, I'm like, come on, dude, come on, man." Come like, on. so, so uh, the the love is real, and it, it, a lot of it is really dope too. I gotta say that. So, what are your thoughts going in? Obviously, we've previewed a little bit of this. Uh, what yes. are your thoughts going into it? Uh, this video is definitely different. Um, yeah, it's. A lot of thoughts on it, positive and negative. Okay, and I can't wait to go through them. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. So, um, and so uh, for background, where where this is a profile on Mr. Cordy, who is kind of the self-proclaimed originator of, of rap in Egypt, and uh, he said he he credited a couple other people, but uh, I have had a lot of people, uh, fans from Egypt, tell 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 us that he is like the OG out there. Like he's the guy that it all started from. There's a, a couple, uh, uh, there's some newer generation people. One guy's named Weggs. We've covered a couple of his uh, videos, a guy named Marwan Pablo. He's really big out there. Uh, a guy named abusive. So we're getting through um, a lot of the, 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 the rappers out there and, and there's a ton of them, but, okay. um, but he's like the, the, the guy at the head, like it all kind of stems from him supposedly. So uh, that's fair. Yeah, so without further ado, let's get into this. And this is so, this is uh, Mr. Cordy, Sanica, and the Carroll City Gangsters. All right. Well, like if you weak, nigga, you die. حد يقول لك انا اول واحد يغني راب في مصر ده I was awfully brown فاهم قصدي؟ هو كنت من اوائل الناس بتغني راب Straight from the motherfucking streets I'm a soldier All the bitches local for the heat bend over Killing any motherfucking beat game over زمان ما الموضوع كان صعب يعني صعب ان انت تسجل صعب ان انت تنشر المزيكا دي اصلا الانترنت ده لسه ما كانش موجود يعني انا اولاد عمتي كانوا بيجوا من كاليفورنيا زمان بيجوا معاهم الميكس تيبس دي Fia uh, Easy E, Dr. J, uh, Ice Cube, Lord of Underground, all of these uh, rappers. Well, can fi rappers ketira gedan fi sah. Kullum koisi, bas sahuk kam betanima. I was an OG since I was 18, 19, something like this. Okay, so. You know, we had to stop here. A uh, couple of things. T tell me about your original thoughts. I mean, when you see this guy, what do you think? When you see Mr. Cordy, what do you think? When I see him, he definitely feels um, California, definitely L.A. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's very obvious. Uh, high socks. And and then when he says yeah. that his cousins brought, are from that area, brought yeah. those types of mixtapes, I can relate to that because I used to go to the swap meets where my cousin used to live out in the L.A. area. And that's how I got on my new music. And, yeah. And that's the So I get where it comes from i just you know i've, I've i'm very weary we're, uh, of, we're of what? his style and uh how he goes about his music yeah i definitely think it's very la it's very uh 90s la uh cholo uh lokes on ball head it, I, I don't see the ball head look as much uh but i 
buy it. And I think that's the biggest part of it to me is how much do you buy it? Um, Egyptian fans, let us know, is all of this real? Because you guys are on the ground. You guys know the scene. Yeah. I've got I've got hit up by a bunch of the OGs out there who have actually grew up with this music that have said that he is that guy. So so tell us more about this. Do you believe when he says he's pulling stunts? He's out there. He's out there doing things. Yes. Just I, not maybe not as big a stunts. So what do you think? No, and it's nothing to the level of uh, stunts. Okay. Uh, you I, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 it's yeah, it's. Yeah. I totally believe that. Yes. I do think that he lives a certain lifestyle. Okay. It's more. It's just very congruent to California. It's just strange. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, I do think he's messing around doing some shit on his own yeah but he's making it seem like it's all the same things that happened here i i don't know it's very early in the video it just seems almost fake but not okay all right in between on it i got you let's keep going I lived all of the motherfucking problems that you're thinking, or like you're talking about. So like he's wearing problems. blue. The police problems. Like, like being blue. Drug. Like, are there Bloods and Crips out there? You could just have on a sweater, bro. Could be, but his shoes are also blue. And if you, you your style's from California, so you, it's very California. You're wearing blue and red. You got to watch what you wear if you're California. Well, they say that Bloods and Crips around the world. I, sure. I've heard that. I've heard that for real. Also, um... Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they probably adopted. Here's how I'm looking at it, and this, in, in, I mean, this. I don't mean to be disrespectful with this. I feel like, as far as music goes, Egypt is still catching up with the world, and the same way that uh, '90s hip hop was so culturally influencing here for so long, okay, and still is. I okay. think it's having those. I think he might be one of the early seeds. I see what you're saying, and I can totally agree with that. Yeah. That's like, uh, it's like they're in their early ages, like of hip hop. Exactly, and, and I can and, and I can totally see that, and I could agree with that. And it's I've, just strange because I've seen this image before. Of course, of course, of course, and it's so much more. Because you gotta remember, Easy uh, was talking about often cops. So maybe that is Ice T I'm thinking of, but Easy E's raps were really in your face and really kind of almost gross. Some of them, like, and so I think they adopted that. That whole like, yo, it has to be super in your face. And what's interesting too is if you listen to some, so go check out the videos on our channel. Okay. No, but if you go check out um Weggs and, and Marwan Pablo, they're the trap artists. So that sound oh, is okay. way more familiar to right now. And it'll you'll be like, okay, okay. So they're catching up quick. He was yeah. the originator. And I think he's been in the game like twenty years, if I if I know correctly. He's not new to it either. So See, and the funny thing is I'd probably prefer this sound, I probably prefer this okay. his music compared yeah. to those Pro other guys. Probably, more than uh, likely, yeah, it, it's, I'm very West Coast sounding. I just, it's just a strange feeling. Yeah. Definitely, I got you. you know what I, I mean? got you. Yeah, for sure. Drug dealers, I'm not the kind of man with many problems. I'm the. Of course, when you get older, the life changes. I understand. I used to be a gangster rap, and I started that shit in here, and people believe you because they saw and they heard a lot of shit. The system watch that shit, your manager watch that shit. They don't like that. They need you part of the system, so they let you go. So he's got Raiders. And in here, jacket on. Yeah. With musicians. In Egypt. You're a gang member, I like you, because we have the same mentality. CCG We started that move as like uh, G shit, you know what I'm talking about? Like making money through illegal shit and going crazy as a kid. You know what else I think? The reason I believe this too, I, and I do think there's a level of hyperbole to it. I don't know that he's, because everybody's more in their own mind than they really are. Sure. So, so I don't think that I think that's the case with every single person. So I think he's built up a great persona for himself. I do think he was out in the streets. But what I also know is when you find an outlet as a poor child to do angry shit. Yes. And I think that's what it was. That's why I think they they adopted the LA Raider shit. They adopted it all because it's like, yo, this relates to how powerless we feel. It, it, this makes us feel stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, that totally makes sense. And. I don't think that he doesn't feel true to himself. 
You know what it I mean? It comes off in a little, little, a smidgy and all that. I don't think he feels that way. You know what I mean? Right. I, I like he, he, he's all about his life, and I truly believe that. But I, I, I guess, I guess where I struggle at is, um, you know, I'm obviously Mexican, and I'm not a cholo by any types of means. But to me, to see people in that type of lifestyle, like, puts them at a certain level, and I don't. That was a fully undeveloped thought, but that's okay. You know what I mean? I I don't know. Let's get back into I'm it. I'm still weary about it. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, the rap I'm taking is concerts, interviews. I didn't know that people gonna hear me like that. And that's why I got my fame from. من الشارع أصلاً أنت بتنزل مناطق كتير والناس عارفة الرجل ده تمام وإيه وأخره إيه من الناس مش هتسيبك كده تأكل عيش ببراحتك مش هتسيبك تغني كده وتسمع الناس الكلام وتطلع تعمل اللي أنت عايزه كده براحتك هتلو. سايت صار أوز بلاك ليستد باك إن الدايز إنه وي يوست دو كونسز أوفر إيه أنت راح تغني راب but my style or my image is a G shit فأنت داخل معك Gish, they all look the same. You got a gun. After I finish, I take my gun out. I be like, I bet you were having fun in that show, am I? Right? And I said, Yeah. I be like, Chill, motherfuckers, boom, boom. When I started the rap or the move, deal one. There was me and a few other people, or a few crew. كان في ام سي امين ارابي نايتس واي كرو من اسكندريه اسفلت يعني كنا ان ا لوت اوف ذوز بيبل هي جست نيم ور بيبل ذات ذي وير تيلينج مي تو لوك اب يو نو وات اي مين يا تعدى على الصوابع في رابرز كتير بس ما فيش حد عامل اللي انا عامله ده اللي هو نيجز يو كان دو ورا دو يو كان برينج اول اوف ذيز بيتشز يو كان برينج اول اوف ذيز جونز وي يو جونا جيت ام فروم يو جونا جو رنت ات I'm not getting models. These are my homies. For everything we use, the tools, the homies, the, that's real shit. The idea of having a... So, I'm excited to hear more of his music. Just to kind of see how it translates to everything we're seeing. Also, I wasn't gonna say, um, man, I had a really great point in there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna move on. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm also interested to see how his music's gonna go. Uh, we helping each other, and in the same time, you living a good life, shining, and keep doing the thing that you really like. We work hard for what we got, fam. So CCG to me is is, is like. أكبر من بس إنه كلمة سي سي جي والكلام ده ولا هو شو مش شو هو حقيقة فاهم كله ريل مش فيك فيك فيد أواي فاهم الريل ستاي وي هير وي نوت جوين نو وير فاهم لربنا ياخدنا بس دلوقتي احنا هنا اهو يعني بلود ميك يو ريليتد با لويالتي ميكس يو فاميلي اتس اول اباوت لويالتي لويالتي The brother code, only. <laughs> exactly. How uh, CCG is a community. Yani we're like a family. For each one of us, he, yani he went to a different country, he represent the family over there. For the people, that's why the shahr is actually the family or the brand. The first brand hip hop is in Egypt. Yani I don't know how I feel about this. But we're going to do it. All right, speak on it. What's wrong with the sweatshirt? I mean, I think it's cool, first off, but, but that's a bad it's... message. So that's always an interesting thing. I don't think they cared about the message. No, of course not. I, I, their, their image is that lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but no, it's, it's of course it's a terrible message. I'm done with the job, so Hakeem is going to make the tattoos. Todd is going to make dreadlocks and cornrows. You understand? We're one community. We're selling dogs, too. But we're helping each other. I know we left Zamalek, but we're gonna find a better place, motherfuckers, because as I said, I feel like I missed something crucial. The CCG is different than the CCG house. The CCG, it will never die. So you know what we have to do now, right? 
react to a video of his at the end of this. Kaza mushkila yani. Ana kan andina wahda garitna magnuna. She used to hate my dog so bad. So you say you ready to move on? Is that what I'm hearing? No. Cardi, kalbi mush arfi. Cardi, kalbi kali shagara. It's not even your garden, bitch. فبقى هي مأجرة من واحد لواء فتشتكي لللواء فاللواء يكلمني أغيب على اللواء فاهم قصدي؟ وأغيب على بتاعة السفارة وبتاعة السفارة تكلم بتاع كندا وبتاع كندا تكلم اللواء واللواء يكلم السفير السابق اللي قدامنا فـ I had too many enemies اللي هو you gonna fight I mean I got lost I got lost I don't know who was talking to who at the end of that It was like eight I also noticed I also know there's eight people mad at him. It's like, bro, maybe you should chill out a little bit, not lose your shit on people. Uh. <laughs> I was like, why is the lady calling a lady in Canada? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand that either. Maybe it's like a citizenship thing. I don't know. You know that you're a killer. You know what I'm talking about? So people ask him about that shit. I had a beef once with a kid and he passed away. He's a Canadian kid. That shit went internet. برضو مثلا once I was about to get married to a girl صحابها يعني خافوا عليها أصلا مني يعني أنا كنت I was treating her cool and everything بس هي because she's like you know I mean she's kind of يعني صحابها nerdy شوية بالنسبة لها كردي ده yeah they put it right in the light can you hey yeah right طبعا he's a G المهم يعني فعلوا البابا دي تعرف حد اسمه كردي ومش عارف إيه وبتاع الراجل بقى لا يعني هو سمع حاجات غريبة البنت اللي تجاه بتعيط انت مطرود من بولندا قلت لها بولندا انا ما عرفش فين بولندا دي قصص بقى واساطير تسمعها ده مطرود من بولندا ده عنده 37 سنة ومتجوز ومخلف This is going kind of sideways I'm not sure I'm not sure من صحابه ومادي النطرون ومراعض معهم احسن فان بدل ما قاعد هنا عام my goal uh, It's almost like he was complaining about how he was being judged on how they looked at him, but he's very much about his image. The specific image of that. Every time you want to settle and خلاص he started to make it happen, يطلع بعبوز كده بعوز الموضوع خالص فاهم؟ بس it's all good يعني we're still surviving and يعني فاهم زي الجبل ما يهد ريح. When the guys you see right now, we all right. I think I may want to go play a song. That motherfucker. Uh, and you know what? We're gonna hit the streets, and then we're gonna hit the studio. All right. So we're gonna pull up one of his songs. Thanks for rocking with us. If you're still with us, we we watched that for about uh, ten minutes, fifteen minutes. Um. So just give me your thoughts as I pull up one of the songs to t to check out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my final thoughts. I finally was able to get them together is I do believe that he's all about that lifestyle and true to, you know, whatever he's doing behind closed doors. Um, or out in the open. Yeah. However, yeah. or out in the open, because, <laughs> yeah. However, I do feel his style is stolen. Yeah, no, you know it, I mean? like, it's, it's absolutely. It's not, I, and he, that might be his style, but he's not an originator of it as, as he so claims, maybe an originator of it in where he's at. But, but I think it's he, not original. I think he, he, I think he set the tone for hip hop out there. It seems that way anyway. I could be wrong. The gangster side of it, sure. Okay, let's get into a duck down featuring Biggie. You, did you say you wanted to read this? Oh yeah, yeah. All right, Mondo's gonna. Uh oh, let's go oh. back. Mondo's gonna read the the thing. With all my respect, oh I can't see that top part. Oh, that'll go away. Hang on. Let's see. Mr. Cordy ducked With down. all my respect to all type of rappers, whatever they are all about, I don't hate on no one, and I wish luck to all of you. Oh, oh shit, sorry. Hon <laughs> Honestly, I don't give a fuck about the rap game no more, and pay no mind. Two people talk behind my back. Because that simply means that I'm two steps ahead, but I dedicate this song for the haters, to, for the bitch-ass, fake-ass niggas. If you are not down with the hype, fuck you, den fools. And if you feel that I'm talking about you in this clip, yeah, you right, nigga. I'm talking about you. I'm not a rapper. I'm a soldier, and that's diff between us. I'm not doing this for money or even for fame. I'm just recording my memories with the homies so I can watch this shit later and later, and to show it to my kids later on ISA. On I, I, I don't know. And if you're leaders, homies, remember that leaders don't force nobody to follow them, but they invite them on a journey. So first okay. off, I can respect that. Okay. Like if he's claiming like, 
I'm not an artist. I'm just fucking jotting down, noting it down. Like, okay, whatever. I get yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. As um, long as you know it. I'm just interested to get into the music. We've, we've seen a lot about my man's. I want to get into it. You know, <laughs> You're like, you know, I, I just want to see what the music is <laughs> <Fair> about. <enough. laughs> First of all, that could easily be like I said. That's LA in '93, right there. Dude, that's any music video from from that region in in the '90s. Yeah. <laughs> We do have to talk about those. He's some very long figures. I mean, I mean, that, those are some really, really long middle figures. I mean, yes. that's, that's, that has to be pointed out. I have to say that. Dude, um, they look alienish. <laughs> Like, oh, he's talking about his figures specifically. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. so I, just, I was like, oh, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> they, they, they do look like <laughs> they do look like uh, they're from another planet. That's for a fact. So, look, what do you think about the actual video? It's almost like three fourths of the head. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot. So, what do you think about the video? Very West Coast, very uh, 90s, like you said, definitely. Even it's the very... flow, even the flow feels that way. The f- Obviously, we don't well, know what they're saying. The but. V, yeah, we don't know what they're saying, but you, the, the feel is there. Yeah, uh, yeah. And just the look of it. Yeah. Like, the look of it all. I'll tell you what, I like it, though. I'm, like, into it. The song's well put together. I'm into it. I did something on a train track. TDE has an early video too. For war, I think I told you before. I don't give a fuck who you with. Fuck more. You think nothing for me. Yo, he's kind of killing that shit though. His vibe is there. He's kind of killing that shit. I'm not arguing that by any means. Like, I think he he definitely has the style down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he studied well. He studied well. Yeah. What do you think he said when he pointed to the elephant? I don't know. Like, I'll smash you like an elephant? He brought the bird, and I thought of, like, illegal (laughs) cockfighting and that type of stuff. And then he shows the elephant, like, okay, yeah, nobody's flexing like that in California. Right, 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 right. How are you going to get stuffed up by this guy? This guy doesn't work. I don't know that she should have made the, the clips. <laughs> I don't think she should have. Did you, you see? You saw why, right? Though? <laughs> no, what? Uh... Cause she's got her his name tattooed on her oh, boob. Oh, I still don't know this that I would. Forty, been... like yeah, no, I mean I wouldn't have ever done the tattoo. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, I can't get it. Uh, is it for that? Oh man, I'll oh, let her live. Let's see it right there. No, it's just, it's just she 40. worked that with a marker, bro. <laughs> Look at it. Maybe, dude. But <laughs> I've seen worse. She tattoos. got into the video, I've though, seen I guess. Worse tattoos. But... All right, all right. <sighs> 
تقول يجي الناس بتلف ما تخلينيش عليك اسف اسمع كلمه حوالي الناس بتلف اسمع يا فرمر قدك تسمر اسيلة على الغرب بتاعكم تلاقي قاعد نزمها Hey, shout out to his engineer too. Everything he does sounds consistent. Yep. And he, he does it, sound clean. And he definitely, I, I just feel like he could spit. Like, I feel like he's a good rapper. I know. I just wish I could understand. I, I do too. But I. Because if he has good bars, I would definitely appreciate him a lot more. I know. You drop the the coolie sand nigga over here. I can hear you are pumping, motherfuckers. The little to that the animal cuss on my ulis, my BGs. Let's let the nest of this and I'm good to trust my peace. Car sick with cheese, don't want that to the fuck and bait your criminal action cast that case. I'm from five of with that taste of the little bait will fuck their faces. It is malicious soldiers, my melee holders. They carry cattle sick with cheese. On them shoulders, but the hell, Mocha Kakis, Rakis Maya, Hatorish and Hagaya, Midday and in the Haya, Alfin Wakim Maya, the simple Haradakin, the Ayman Kes, the are connected, you're a fist reflected, and I don't want to do the motherfucking time, the place and all the time. I like the times. Yeah, I told you, man. Who is saying the blaster? Like I said, he's got the style down. He's got the. The vibe of the whole thing down. So I think that's I think that was actually fantastic. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we have the language barrier there, but I I had the vibes the whole time. I couldn't take my eyes off the screen. Yeah. Dude's the energy. He might be in Tupac a little bit. Just I get that attitude of yeah. like, you know, fuck you guys. Fuck yeah. everybody. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The I mean, he's Lokes got, on, yeah. Yeah, you know, it. he's exactly. got the, the vibes are there. The vibes are there. It definitely uh, feels like Tupac. They with the bald head when he was standing there like spitting, I'm like, that's yeah. some Tupac shit. Um I dope. So you know, I don't even know how to wrap this all up, man. Um, yeah. Give me your thought. Okay, I guess this is the best way to do it. If you, if it was, if he was an English rapper, or even a rapper where you can understand the, the, the native tongue, would you seek out this music? I would definitely check out his catalog further. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, that's definitely a style of music I like, and I definitely think he has the style down. Um, So... If I would continuously listen to him, would depend on what his lyric content would be. That's what's up. Okay, I I would just just for the vibe it gives me. I mean, I could actually listen to that in the car. Yeah. Especially that second track. Yeah. Uh, without really even needing to know. I mean, I want to know what he's saying, but I almost don't need to. It's just yeah. the he, feelings there. Musically, he's dope. I don't know about the persona. I have I don't have questions. To me, it's just overdone, and I I didn't. I just don't like when people overdo certain aspects of things. Sure, and, you know, exactly. You know, so, That's a good way to put it. I like yeah, that. It's overdone. Yeah, it's just over. But, but I mean, I, I like him as, as an artist. So, yeah. shouts to all the Cordy fans, the Egyptian rap fans that come check us out and, and rock with us. Uh, it's been a pleasure doing this with you, man. A little, little, little actions. I, I'm thinking about having to put this out as like a podcast or something because it's like a 30 minute video. So might have might, to, might yeah. have to do something, but it'll definitely be up either way. But hey, if you've been rocking with us, man, if you watched all 30 minutes, you're amazing. You should be a member of the Revenger Crew. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're still rocking with us. Give us a like or a dislike. We had a lot of opinions. Uh, I've come to love the Egyptian hip hop scene and, and and seeing some of his roots has been a lot of fun. So we'll have more coming from Mr. Cordy as well as maybe I think it was MC Amin was one of them. There's a couple others they mentioned. We'll get some joints. Maybe. Nights, song, Arabian man. Nights, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I had a bunch like... of people hit me up about Arabian Nights too, so that had to be out there as well. So we'll have those coming at you. Are you gonna come back for more? Of course, man. All right, so we'll have the homie Mondo on for more because that was a lot of fun. Uh, that's about it, man. We'll see you Friday. Excuse me, I keep doing that because we did one Friday. Now we'll see you Saturday night for our live stream. Catch us at eight thirty Mountain Standard Time. I'm hoping somebody uh, from Egypt can tell me what time that is for y'all. So eight thirty here. I don't know how far ahead y'all are, but let me know because I want y'all to tune in too. Um, Mount Standard Time, uh, we'll catch you then. Yes, Marvin, just goodbye.